A side effect of total internal reflection is uh, something called an effervescent wave. And this is a wave that, while there's total internal reflection, uh, travels along the surface in addition to the reflection. So if I diagram this out, I have a surface here, and let's say this is the more dense part of the medium. And with total internal reflection, I have an instant uh, ray, and it's being totally reflected. Turns out some of this is actually transmitted along the surface, a very small amount called an effervescent wave on this here. And this occurs in addition to total internal reflection. And further, uh, one can actually interface to this effervescent wave by having another material in close proximity. So if I take uh, my finger, for instance, I can actually push along here. And if I push my finger here, I can frustrate the total internal reflection due to with this effervescent wave. So to demonstrate this, I have a water glass here, uh, water in it, and if you look at the opposite side, you cannot see through the glass itself because of total internal reflection. However, I can actually place my finger on the opposite side, and you can easily see my fingerprint uh, there on the wine glass itself as I frustrate the total internal reflection on this here. This is, some people think of this as being analogous to quantum tunneling. Uh, it's also used in um, optical devices like optical finger, finger printers. 